Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the A-Fall Champ, the adult fan of LEGO Champion. Here with another classic set review. It's 11002, the basic brick set. And boy, does this set really live up to the name basic brick. If you can look through this, there are a ton of very basic bricks. This is a Again, another of these classic sets that I got a really good deal on last summer. And I'm build, you know, trying to build up my bulk collection. Uh, <laughs> try to cut down on all those uh, brick owl purchases and all that. Although I have a bricks and pieces order that still needs to get here. It's taking a long time. But anyway, back to this. Uh, and you can look at this. And again, it is no lie. This is a lot of very basic bricks. There are no plates in this at all. Which also means that there's no weird modified plates. There's very few modified bricks. The vast majority of these bricks are just, you know, two by, you know, whether it's eights or fours or one by twos. The most rare piece is this lime one by 10 that's only been in a very small handful of sets. There are not any plates in this though. I couldn't believe it. They even gave you these big, these big black round bricks in place of wheels, which I was kind of surprised about. Uh, like any other classic set, it's not gonna, you can see just ba based on the size of the piles here that like the black, gray, white, the usable colors over here don't match up to the bright, I won't say unusable, but less desirable colors over here. Like, you know, there's just not as many uses for a big yellow brick or a big lime brick as there is for a black or a gray or a white. Uh, if you look at the builds, the builds, I mean, they're pretty standard classic builds. That's nothing, nothing crazy. And by that, I mean nothing crazy, good or bad. Just they are what they are. There's a fair amount of slopes. I think you can see that in this one. There's also the printed eyes. Didn't anticipate getting a ton of those, although I should guess I should just count on that in a classic set. Uh, the part price to part ratio wasn't spectacularly good, wasn't particularly bad. I mean, it was a deal for a classic set. So, uh, you know, and, and you're getting a lot of bigger, like these are, you know, if I were to order this up bricks and pieces or uh, pick a brick, whatever you call it, pick and build, whatever you call it now, this would be a pretty expensive part. So maybe it's better than I thought. I don't, I don't know. It's, you're still also, also only getting 300 pieces in total. And that includes, like I said, a lot of lime bricks that probably won't ever get used or dark pink bricks or whatever. A lot of slopes. There are a few uh, pieces like this that, you know, would be a, this is a plant piece. Uh, a lot of round bricks too. I don't know. I find those kind of tough to use. I don't use those nearly as much. But um, yeah, I mean, that's really just all that there is to it as a whole. I think I'm going to give it a I'm gonna give it a B minus. Again, it's just hard to not have any plates. It's hard to have so many bright colors. Uh, you know, if this would have been this many bricks in more usable colors, I think I would have been happier with it. Uh, but I just, again, the 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 part the pro, the parts aren't great. The price wasn't spectacular. That's supposed to be like the two big appeals of the classic set. But at the same time, I knew what I was getting when I signed up for it. You know, when I paid for it, I knew what I was getting. So again, part of that's just on me. But uh, you can leave me a comment. Tell me if you think I'm right or wrong or somewhere in between. Am I missing something? Overlooking something? Have an idea of what I should do with these? You can leave me a comment. So uh, hopefully this has been a good four or five minutes of your life watching this video. I hope I hear from you soon, which means you'll, that you'll leave me a comment. I hope that, he'll, that you hit the like button. I hope you hit the subscribe button and hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.